Hi everyone, it's Dixon here and today I'm going to be providing you with reviews of the Logitech MX Keys keyboard as well as the MX Master 3 mouse. I've had these for a couple of weeks now so I've had time to test these, so things like the connectivity, what they're actually like to use. So let's find out if they're any good in my review. Starting with the MX Keys, looking at the design, I'd say it's extremely minimalist. I love the brushed aluminium look, so it feels very premium to touch. And of course, it's very similar to the likes of the aluminium finish that you would get on a matte book. So like the space gray color. And all of the matte finished buttons, again, add to that premium finish. And it feels very good to type on when you're using them. I'd say it's a relatively small sized keyboard, so that makes it very practical for carrying around in your backpack or something. But because of course it is made of aluminium for the main body it does mean it's going to be a lot heavier than the other plastic equivalents out there so something to bear in mind if that's one of the reasons you wanted to buy it. Each key has a little indent on them which means that when you press those keys you're more likely to press those in the middle of the button which means it's going to be more accurate when reading what you're typing. Over the past two weeks I've seen that this is very accurate to use. One of the main reasons why I bought this keyboard was because I frequently switch between Mac and Windows those and the beauty of this is looking at the keyboard you'll see that it does show you the symbols for some of the key buttons so things like start for windows versus command on macOS and it's very easy to switch between the two and I've been so pleased that finally when I'm doing video editing I'm not having to try and remember how the keys would have been mapped according to the windows layouts. Another nice touch is that it has a backlight so it's very similar in terms of color like the nice blue LED color you get on a MacBook laptop and I think it's pretty cool actually that that when you put your hand near the keyboard so if you just hover your hand just above the keyboard itself the backlight will turn on so it's got some sort of proximity sensor or of course it's just magic so overall very impressed with the design it looks very slick it's very minimalist and it feels great to use as well on a daily basis for connectivity you have two options you have the included universal usb receiver so this is just a simple usb a dongle which you can put into your docking station your laptop or the pc itself and then using the Logitech Options app, you can just pair it using this. And of course, if you do have both the keyboard and the mouse, the good news is that you can pair both devices through that same universal receiver. The other option, of course, is just using the regular Bluetooth connectivity and looking at the keyboard, you'll see that we have three different buttons across the top from one to three, and that's because you can pair this and it will remember settings for up to three different devices. So for example, switching between your MacBook or Windows laptop I've not had any issues with connectivity both using the universal USB receiver or using Bluetooth so things like latency or anything I found it all very responsive. One of my concerns when buying this keyboard was that I thought perhaps I'd have to install the Logitech Options software or application on my Windows laptop which I use for work in order to use certain things like switching to the Windows versus MacOS layout. You can just do so without using the Logitech Options app so all you need to do is hold down FN and P for three seconds on your keyboard and that activates the Mac layout or FN and O on your keyboard to activate the Windows layout and that's worked seamlessly and has come in incredibly helpful when I'm alternating so coming from my working day to doing things like my video editing at the weekend so that's been a fantastic addition it is very simple to switch between the two let's talk about the app so I'm very pleased to say that it's very simple and intuitive to set up and the interface is very good looking as well you can either choose, as I mentioned earlier, to use the universal receiver or Bluetooth connections. And that's an option that you get to choose between at the very beginning for your setup. So when you click to add a new device, you'll choose between that USB receiver or Bluetooth. And then it just takes you through the instructions on how you compare those devices. In under one minute, I would say that you are ready to go and it's very simple. So when you've got your MX keys all set up through the application, you can do things like set a profile so it will remember your setup settings. It backs all of that up into the cloud as well, which is a nice touch. And what you'll see is when we go to the options, you can actually customize so many of the function buttons across that keyboard to your liking. Very simple to do so in the app. I mentioned earlier that you can pair up to three devices and it will remember the settings. So in this app is where you can set up the three different devices and you'll see from one, two, and three, how they're going to be mapped to the numbers on your keyboard. So of course, if you've got your Windows laptop on number one, press number one 
on your keyboard and it will switch to it, number two to go to the other device and so on. I've been very pleased with the battery life on this keyboard. So with the backlight enabled, so every time you're typing the backlight wakes up and illuminates, you can get up to 10 days on one charge. So I've not actually charged this since I've opened it from the packaging and that was over 12, 13 days ago now I think. And it's still going strong. I would say that it definitely lasts for 10 days. Bearing in mind I don't type extensively every day. It's doing simple things like replying to some emails and making some amendments when I'm doing some digital editing. If you're going to be doing things like typing up reports on a daily basis, so lots of typing throughout each day, then of course you won't expect to have the same sort of battery life that I've experienced over the past two weeks. And there is a huge leap in battery performance. If you deactivate that backlight, you can actually get apparently up to five months without a charge. So of course, I've not been able to test this. I've only had it for a couple of weeks, but five months is a massive difference. So perhaps if you are a bit worried, if you're out and about and not sure about being able to plug it in for whatever reason, five months should definitely be good enough for your needs. Perhaps one of the most important things you'll want to know is, well, what's it actually like to type on? And I'm pleased to say I found it very pleasant to type on. I wouldn't say it's quite as ergonomic as some of the other keyboards out there, but you can do things like buy a separate palm rest, which I think would help. But I find the keys very comfortable to press. So again, mentioning that little indent on each key, I think is a nice little touch. So it ensures it's very accurate. And I've not come across any issues where I've been typing away and pressing keys and they've not responded or not been showing up on screen. I found the keyboard to be very accurate. And I think the travel is good enough, bearing in mind this isn't a mechanical keyboard. The keys do feel like they're actually traveling a little distance and they have some nice resistance, which means that I think it's a nice, pleasant experience. It's not just very soft and easy to accidentally type something when you're not meant to. So very pleased in that respect. Also to note is that when I'm typing, it's much quieter than my older keyboard that I had. So I had a Razer one from many years ago. And I'd say that because of the slim low profile design, it's very quiet. So it means it's definitely far more relaxing to have, especially when you're working from home, when it's quite quiet as opposed to being in the office. So that's been another plus that I've experienced over the past couple of weeks. So let's take a look at the MX Master 3. When I did my unboxing, you could see I was probably very impressed with the ergonomics and over the past two weeks that continues to be the case it is incredibly comfortable to hold in your hand it has the nice rubberized finish wrapped around the mouse which means that it has a nice grip to it and perhaps if you perspire quite a bit on your hand it's not going to be a problem and slip around it means that you're going to have good grip throughout the day no matter what you're doing things like the scroll wheel so you can scroll it and it's almost like it's got ball bearings so if you're doing lots of scrolling around and stuff you can get to the top or bottom of a page in a matter of seconds it's very good to use. All of the buttons are very easy to access as well. So that's from the scroll wheel to the side wheel, which you can use to scroll from left to right horizontally, as well as the other things like the motion gesture button, which is located just beneath your thumb on the curve section of the mouse. So it's all very easy to get access to and combine that with being able to map the keys according to your preference in the app. It means that you can very quickly enhance your productivity, which is a huge plus. The mouse has a very nice weight to it. So I mentioned this earlier, it's not very heavy, but it doesn't feel just like a cheap bit of plastic. And that personally means that for me, I feel like I'm in more control. It's not just going to suddenly slip across the mouse mat or anything, but you have that nice weight so that it feels far more controlled. And I just bought myself a cheap mouse mat, which is the soft fabric. And I found it to be very accurate when I'm doing my editing on screen. And finally, the buttons, again, similar to the MX keys are very quiet. So you're not going to be clicking and really annoying yourself or perhaps others around you. Connectivity again is very good similar to the MX keys so you can use the included USB universal receiver which is USB A type which you can plug into your dock or laptop and you can pair up to three devices so you can switch between your Windows or Mac device as an example or you can pair using Bluetooth and again I found this to be very reliable on both my MacBook and Windows devices and in order to switch between the three devices you'll have the little three numbers on the bottom of the mouse so numbered one to three and you can just press that little button 
to alternate between the devices of your choosing and works seamlessly. Similar to the MX keys, you can customize the buttons on your mouse, which is a nice plus for your productivity. And I really like the gesture control button, which is just beneath your thumb. And when you're holding that button down, you can move your mouse up, down, left or right. And that will then go ahead and perform that gesture according to how you set it up in the application. So again, a huge plus for your productivity. The Logitech Options app makes it very easy to set up. So you can choose either the USB universal receiver or you can choose the Bluetooth, whichever you prefer. And again, I found these both to be reliable. So probably in just under a minute, you'll be set up and ready to go. Once you're ready to go, you can then access the mouse in the application itself. So remember, it can save your profile and it backs it up to the cloud, which is a nice plus if you set up an account. You can click on the mouse graphic in the application and you can go ahead and customize those buttons to your liking. In terms of battery life, Logitech say that the mouse can last for 70 days, which I think will be perfectly sufficient for everyone. So again, I haven't charged this for the past two weeks since opening it. and I don't have any reason to believe why that wouldn't be the case. And I think something to bear in mind for both the MX keys and the MX Master is of course, if you are running low, then you can go ahead and just plug in the USB-C charging cable and continue to use your keyboard and mouse at the same time. And most importantly, what's this mouse like to use? So I said at the beginning, I'm very pleased with the ergonomics. It's probably the most comfortable mouse I've ever used. When you hold it in your hand, it feels very natural. With the rubberized finish, it feels very comfortable for extended periods. Clicking on all of the buttons is very simple. It doesn't feel difficult to access any of those buttons and moving it around on the mouse mat and everything because of the nice weight it has to it, I feel like I'm in control. And I think this will be very good for those of you using it for your graphic design or creativity applications. The buttons are very responsive, so I've not had any misclicks or anything weird like that. I love the scroll wheel, so it's very good at scrolling around quickly. And of course, you've got the other one just by your thumb, which means you can scroll horizontally as well, which is a nice touch. So you just feel like you can do so much more all from that one mouse compared to the standard mouse out there on the market. So as you can see, I've been incredibly pleased with both the MX keys and MX mouse. I think these are incredibly nice to use. Perhaps just bear in mind for the keyboard, it might be wise to get a palm rest just in case you're typing for extended periods. And I think in terms of design, it looks great in your home office setup. It looks very slick and combine that with the likes of your MacBook or any other device. And if you've got some nice looking monitors like mine with the space gray finish, it all looks very professional. And I think you'll be very pleased if you were to go ahead and buy these. So a definite recommendation from me. So I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, please add them in the comments down below. Happy to answer them. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.